<clears throat> At the end of every unit, your teacher, he has a chance to teach a lesson about the lessons their context enhance. But what do you suppose our teacher has us do? He skips the lesson, makes us present an LEQ. Elocution needs historical evidence, reason that can carbonate and advance. A complex thesis that Dr. John P. Irish would admire. Then we drop the screencast like a song that it is fired. Student created screencast for you to like, subscribe, and share. We know you'll have all John Green and Steve Helmer you can bear. If we have the most views by 10 p.m. Eastern on the fifth day, we earn 500 bonus points, which guarantees an A. Without much more, much more, much more, fan for or adieu, we present, present our digital LEQ. Hey, my name's Daniel. And my name is David. And this digital LEQ is going to cover how the scientific and technological advances of the 20th century affected society. Our big idea questions are what technological advancements were made in the 20th century and what were some effects of these improvements? Keep these questions in mind as you watch the LEQ, and we'll come back to them later to review the answers. Our thesis states that in the period 1900 to 2001, rapid advances in science and technology took place. These advancements made life more comfortable and efficient for the society that had access to them and helped spread ideas and beliefs. However, some of these inventions have encouraged society to be less active and become more reliant on technology to complete tasks. Therefore, the advances in science and technology led to an improved but often lazier lifestyle throughout society. Contextualization. Over time, we have seen technology evolve beyond expectations. Prior to 1900, Communication, transportation, and scientific discoveries were very limited. The reason for technology advancing as quickly as it did during the 20th century was thanks to electron microscopes, which were very powerful by the late 1970s and led to developments in genetic engineering. Our first primary source is a photograph of the first interstate highway in Kansas. It connects Topeka, Kansas to Kansas City, Missouri. This was the first of many interstate highways that made automobile travel between states and cities easier and more efficient. In turn, this increased the speed at which suburban areas grew. This falls under theme six, technology and innovation. The Interstate Highway was the first of many that eventually connected the states, which encouraged living in suburban areas that allowed easy access to these interstates. The photo was taken to get an aerial view of what is known as the Kansas Turnpike and resembles many of the highways we see today. Our second primary source is a recording of the first radio broadcast. This is KD. K.A. of the Westinghouse Electric and Manufacturing Company in East Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We shall now broadcast the election returns. <clears throat> we are receiving these returns by special arrangements with the Pittsburgh Post and Sun. We'd appreciate it if anyone hearing this broadcast would communicate with us, as we are very anxious to know how far the broadcast is reaching and how it is being received. It set the stage for other broadcasts in the future that distributed information, displayed entertainment, and were used to promote products and ideas. Broadcasts like the one in the video can and have been used to influence the belief of its listeners. This falls under theme five, social interactions and organization, as well as theme six, technology and innovation. The first scheduled radio broadcast was used to announce the winner of the presidential election in 1920. The broadcasting company received the first commercial broadcasting station license just a month prior. KDK Pittsburgh broadcast the results of the presidential election between Warren G. Harding and James Cox. It was an early example of how broadcasts could be used from a political standpoint. 
Our third and last primary source is a photograph of an SNA controller. It allows computers to exchange digital data over phone lines. This is yet another advancement in the world of technological communication. As the distribution of information improves, ideas and beliefs are more easily spread and influence social and political views. This also falls under theme five, social interactions and organization, as well as theme six, technology and innovation. For our first secondary source, we have a quote from the Golden State Laundry Systems, publisher of the history of the washing machine. From ancient laundering techniques to the washing machines we use today, people have always been looking for easier, more efficient ways to clean their dirty clothes. Um, early washing machines had a very dirty cast iron mechanism, which were mounted on the inside of the tub lid. The introduction of a metal tub lid reduction gears to replace this bulky machine was a great improvement. By 1920, the Cooper wooden tub was no longer being manufactured. We found this to be under theme six, technology and innovation. For the situation, the next development of the washing machine was the fitting of a clock timing device, which allowed the machine to be set to operate for a predetermined length of wash cycle. Under the point of view, the new clock timing models were made so the operator no longer needed to constantly monitor its action. Even now, the clock timing washing machines are still the best available option for washing clothes. For our second secondary source, it's another quote, this time from Amar M. Salam, Department of Medicine, Department of Cardiology, publisher of the invention of the electrocardiograph machine. Eindhoven developed a system for the electrocardiographic standardization that continues to be used all over the world and introduced the triaxial bipolar system with three limb leads and thus established uniformity of the recording process. As for the reasoning, the use of the ECG, which is the electrocardiograph, um, has steadily and tremendously grown. <clears throat> The ECG has become an essential part of cardiac evaluation and management. Without the insight and dedication from scientists such as Eindhoven, this could have never come to reality. This one was also part of theme six, technology and innovation. Now that the presentation is over, we'll review our big ideas questions. Before we show the answers, pause the video and see if you can come up with some for yourself. Some possible answers for the first question were highways, commercial radio, SNA controllers, the washing machine, and electrocardiographic standardization. Some possible answers for the second question were making interstate travel more reasonable, encouraging population growth. Some possible answers for the second question would be highways, making interstate travel more reasonable and encouraging population growth in suburban areas. SNA controllers and radio making communication over long distances more viable. ECG revolutionizing cardiac evaluation and assessment. Or the washing machine making washing clothes easier and more efficient, requiring less work from the operator. A quick look at our sources will conclude this presentation. Thanks for watching.